hope so. Yes, ma'am. Many people believe that Obama is a Muslim. Yes. I'd just yes. like to know what you think about that. Well, as far as Obama's personal beliefs, he doesn't answer my emails. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't return my calls. I don't really know what the man's thinking. But there's no doubt. Well, there are several things. In the first place, was he a Muslim? Yes. 100% certainty. Because his father was a Muslim. His stepfather was a Muslim. Islam is patrilinear. If your father's a Muslim, you're a Muslim. And he says it in one of his autobiographies, I think the first one. Can you imagine it? We've got a president who's written two autobiographies <laughs> before he did anything. Uh, anyway, how many more autobiographies are to come? Well, I guess he's got to line up the ghostwriters. But in any case, in I think his first autobiography, he says he was got in trouble in Indonesia for making faces in Quran class. Quran class was only attended in Indonesia by the Muslim students. The Christian students did not go to Quran class. They, they had another class somewhere else. If he was in Quran class, he was a Muslim. And actually, his school registration exists, and he is listed as a Muslim. Now, does this mean he is still a Muslim? He says he's a Christian. Does it mean because he says he's a Christian that he's a Christian? Not necessarily. And I'll tell you why. The Quran is like Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Do you remember that movie? <laughs> invasion of the Body Snatchers, where the person looked the same and answered to the same name, but was suddenly somehow different. Hello? <laughs> and you might think something's oh different God. about me, but I'm exactly the same. <laughs> invasion of the Body Snatchers. They, they, they sucked out the soul of the individual and replaced it with another. Now, when I say invasion of the body snatchers in regard to the Quran, what they did that they did that to the prophets. Abraham is in the Quran. In chapter 3, verse 67, it says the Jews and the Christians, 3, verse 64, sorry, the Jews and the Christians argue over Abraham. But they're both wrong. Abraham was not a Jew or a Christian, he was a Muslim. How could Abraham have been a Muslim when he lived ways thousands of years before Muhammad? You see, the true religion of all the prophets was Islam. <coughs> the true religion of Jesus Christ was Islam. And then their followers twisted and hijacked their teachings to create what we know of today as Judaism and Christianity. And so a few years back, there was the big Ground Zero Mosque controversy. You may have heard of it. Oh, yes. And the leader of the Ground Zero Mosque Initiative was an imam in New York, Faisal Abdul Rauf. <laughs> Rauf said, I am a Jew and I've always considered myself a Jew. And the whole multicultural establishment in New York went into paroxysms of, 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 of ardor's joy at his glorious ecumenicism and open-mindedness. But he was actually declaring a, a perfectly Islamic sentiment that as a follower of Moses, the true Moses, the Muslim prophet Moses, he's a Jew. It's the Jews who call themselves Jews who worship upstairs. They're the fake ones. And so when Barack Obama calls himself a Christian, it doesn't necessarily mean anything more than that he follows the teachings of the Muslim prophet Jesus. <laughs> no. Does that mean that that's necessarily what he means? No, not necessarily. It's just that we cannot take that at face value given the other data that we have. But above all, if you look at the Muslim Brotherhood program for the world and for the United States, and you look at Barack Obama's policies, his consistent policy toward Israel, his policy toward aiding the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt, in Libya, in Syria, his uh, refusal, you notice that there were several demonstrations, mass demonstrations, in Egypt over the last few years, in Egypt, in, in Libya, in Syria before the war broke out, before that in Iran. And he endorsed them all, except for three. In Egypt, when they wanted to topple the Muslim Brotherhood, not when they wanted to put it in. In Iran, when they wanted to topple the Islamic Republic, 
<coughs> and in Turkey, when the secularist Turks were demonstrating against Erdogan for re-Islamizing Turkey. Those were the three Obama would not support. See a pattern? Every demonstration he favored was in favor of establishing an Islamic state or preserving one. Every demonstration he opposed was against an Islamic state. And so everything Barack Obama has done has been in line with the Islamic agenda. Does that come from a faith that he himself holds? Or does it just coincide with his own Marxist imperatives? And he thinks that Islam is a wonderful thing. He grew up with it. His father was a Muslim. He thinks it's grand, even if he doesn't hold to it himself. I don't know. But I do know that it doesn't really matter ultimately what he thinks, because every policy he has ever endorsed, every course of action he has ever set the United States on, has been in favor of the Islamic supremacist agenda. So whether that is out of belief or out of calculation or out of something else, it's irrelevant.